It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hillside Brewery and it's a bottle of their Pinnacle Pale Ale coming in at 3.8% ABV. There you go. I've not had a beer from Hillside Brewery. I am looking forward to trying their beers. It's a gold bottle cap on this one. Let's get the beer out into a glass then and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. The beer has been brewed with Pilgrim hops, Bramling cross hops, uh, water, barley, wheat and yeast. Okay, so beer in a glass. A nice clean looking beer. It is bottle conditioned. You can see a little bit of that sediment there in the bottle. So I'll show you that later on, but for now I want to show you a nice clean glass of beer. You, can, you might be able to see little bits of yeast floating around in the glass. That's all good with me. It's, it's a bottle conditioned beer, you're going to get that kind of thing. Uh, it's a real beer. Oh, blimey. Um, I'll tell you about the aroma in a moment. I got, I've got to concentrate on the, on the way the beer looks, but yeah, nice aroma. Uh, it's a one to two finger, slightly off white head, nice levels of carbonation rising up the middle of the glass. And yeah, it's a, it's a clear beer. It's a nice golden colored beer. So let's get this aroma. Ooh, smells really good. It smells really good. I smelt it. You won't be able to see it down here, but as I, as I got my nose into the beer, I lifted my right leg up for some reason. I don't know why. It was a kind of a reaction to the, the amount of hops in the beer. It smells nice and spicy and grapefruity. Slightly tropical as well, like a, like a tropical fruit bowl. I smell a little bit of sweetness from that malted barley. It's getting my, my mouth, my palate all puckered up. I'm gonna dive into this one, cheers. Yeah, and a very, very good, clean, crisp, very drinkable pale ale. What you have here is something that you can do two things with it. You can class this beer in two separate ways. You can either take your time and session it, enjoy three or four pints, or you can enjoy just the one if you like, just as a big, bold, refreshing brew. A nice wheaty, malty, sweet backbone of a beer up front with an awash, a big wash of... They must have put a lot of kind of brambling cross in you and the pilgrim hop. It, it's very fruity. It's, it's a nice strong bold bitterness on the back end. Uh, Paul Williamson, he's described himself as a beer fanatic. On the, on the back of the label here, with his signature. And it's nice to breathe in. So you're breathing this beer in, and you're tasting it at the same time. And you're getting that ultimate taste experience. For a 3.8% ABV beer, this is packed full of flavour. It's a nice dry, crisp finish as well to the beer. With them hops, it all comes together to produce a very good session beer. Or a beer you can drink on its own. It, it depends. I mean, you could treat this as a lawnmower beer. You've just mowed the lawn, you're, you're dead thirsty in the height of summer. You've got sweat on your brow and you think, I need a beer to refresh myself. This could be this also. So, rating end for Hillside Brewery, Pinnacle Pale Ale. 3.8% ABV, 
as I said, it's sessionable, it's nice, it's crisp, it's hoppy, it's nice and sweet, it's got a nice balance to the beer. It's a very good beer. But before I rate it, I promise to show you the bottle condition. I tell you what I'll do. Let me let me get a glass. So any glass, and I've just grabbed any glass out of the cupboard. Now you'll be able to see. If you're new to craft beer, you're new to beer, real ales, then I need to show you this because you might pour a beer out by accident. You might pour it all out and you might think to yourself, oh my goodness me, there's something wrong with the beer. Now to be honest, that is quite a lot. That is quite a lot of yeast. But don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed, it was put in the beer by purpose. It helps, what it does is the, it's the natural carbonation. So you'll then bubbles in the glass, all that carbonation. That is produced by the yeast that's been added to the bottle. It's the second fermentation process, as I said, that carbonates the beer naturally. So, you'll see a clear difference here. Actually, it's not that bad. The yeast has dropped to the bottom of the glass quite quickly. To the beer on the left and it's still quite clean and crisp so I personally probably wouldn't drink all of that yeast I would just drink down to about the last 10 ml enjoy your beer and then call it a day it won't harm you it's packed full of vitamin D and it's a good tasting beer really good so, rating them for Pinnacle Pale Ale. I think this is very good, it's a very good session beer. I think I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.